William Heath Robinson was born in 1872 and lived in this house from 1913 to 1918. Why did he leave Pinner? He left Pinner because of his total dejection at the end of the First World War and he wanted to get his family away to the countryside. Pinner was first described in 1231 as a hamlet. The oldest part of the village lies around the 14th century parish church. Within the high street, one or two of its houses date from the late 15th century and its general aspect has not changed greatly since Elizabethan times. And it seems incredible to us now that Hill William Heath Robinson wanted to take his family away from this leafy lane to the countryside. But at that time, Pinner had been too close to the sharp end of the war, with Zeppelin raids and with the flying school at Ryslip Aerodrome nearby. Sadly, William Heath Robinson, comic artist and illustrator, died in 1944, but his work is returning to Pinner. A modern museum is being built, attached to this house, which is one of the oldest houses in Pinner. It was once the home of the grandson of Admiral Lord Nelson and Lady Hamilton. It fell into disrepair, but was saved by the Pinner Association and the West House and Heath Robinson Trusts. It is now the local park and well used and much loved by the local community. The museum is being built with lottery funding, donations and local events are raising the shortfall. There has been a secret art sale where each painting costs £35. Purchasers did not know who was the artist, famous or amateur, until they received their purchase. Residents and traders were invited to focus groups to discuss the museum's use. Here are the foundations, a new beginning for Heath Robinson in Pinner. So we, we decided to make the building out of um, a wooden panel system, uh, which is something called CLT. And one of the reasons that we did that, a number of reasons, um, some of them are environmental, but a, a particular reason that we were quite excited about was the fact that the building would appear very quickly in the park and that visitors to the park would see a building appear over the course of about a, a week or two weeks. And inside, the building was rapidly divided into an activity room, a permanent gallery and an exhibition room. Here are some pictures of the building in its early stages. There were some dramatic moments during the construction. Workmen balanced precariously on the roof. Big glass panes were dropped down through the roof to make the glass corridor. The glass for roof lights swayed in the wind over the building. The workmen were not afraid of height and they carried on even in bad weather. The outside is finished and inside there is a staircase. Leading to leafy views that I think would have pleased Heath Robinson. We got very interested in the structure of the building and worked very closely with our structural engineer. Um, and one of the things that we developed that you'll, you'll see as the building emerges is that there is some structure um, as part of the roof. 
that you see from inside. Uh, and we developed a kind of structural lattice work of timber that has a sort of resonance with the way that Heath Robinson, as an artist, um, explored how things, uh, mechanical things, work. This is an artist's impression of the finished museum. If you would like to see an example of the type of exhibition we will see, let's go to the McCann Advertising Agency in London, where Geoffrey Beer was curating a temporary exhibition. Here is Geoffrey Beer again, describing one of Heath Robinson's works. Because this was the drawing that inspired McCann's to have the exhibition here in the first place. They've got this wonderful Art Deco building. This is the cover design for Heath Robinson's How to Live in a Flat. And one of the staff here had a copy of the book and felt it would be great if he could show Heath Robinson's satires of modernist architecture and design in this beautiful Art Deco building. And they went a bit further and actually reconstructed the scene of the washing lines being supported by balloons in the atrium here. So it made a very special feature for the exhibition. We mustn't forget that William Heath Robinson really wanted to be remembered as an illustrator, especially of children's books. And I think he would have been happy to have his work permanently in this beautiful setting where children play and the fountain is reflected in his work. This is an artist's impression of the Finnish gallery. And here the pictures are starting to be hung inside the building. And at last the hoardings are down and we can see the finished museum.